guys, I'm back at the garage again, and I'm going to be doing a quick install of the M Performance pedals I got from Bimian. And here they are. And I'm going to be installing them today to match the current dead pedal that comes with the car. Because right now, the black ones are kind of dull. So let's quickly take a look at them. But this is what it looks like. So the pedals I'm hoping to install, let's see right here, and kind of match a little better. The finish doesn't quite look the same from what I've noticed. The one that comes with the car is more of a shiny aluminum finish. This one's a little bit, I don't know, matte, more brushed metal, I should say. It's not the same, but I mean, it'll hopefully match enough that it doesn't bother me. All right, so with all that said, let's get started. Give myself as much room as possible here. So I have no experience with this, so I hope I don't mess it up. I'm thinking I have to remove these first, and these feel like rubber, so I'm just going to go ahead and try to do that. I'm not sure how successful I'll be doing it with one hand, though. Oh, it's really easy. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this one looks different. So just to remember, this longer one goes on the brake pedal. What about this one? Do I remove this too? I can't tell. I don't think there's anything to remove on this one. Do I just drill it straight in? I guess so. Okay, we'll take it from there. I have an automatic center punch and I'm gonna try to create some indentations here to kind of get everything started just so I can line it up easier when I do actually start drilling any holes. So test fitting the clutch pedal first, making sure it's centered. Okay, wish me luck. Right. Oh, that was really easy. What the heck? All right. All right. Let's try. Okay, let's try 332. Come on, 332. This one could actually potentially thread. All right, it looks like one eighth is probably the way to go to make the screws fit comfortably. Okay, so I'm gonna be test fitting them right now. Once these two are in, I'm able to just drill it through here. Careful not to damage the pedal, obviously. I put all the four screws in place. Now I have these nuts and washers. Yeah, they're really small. I think the difficult part will be lining up the nuts with the screw in the back because you can't see anything and if your fingers are big then you're gonna have some trouble here. But yeah, let's see if I can get this done real quick. Awesome, so clutch pedal done. That was really easy actually. The finish on the clutch pedal in the back here looks a little different from this one. Hopefully I don't have too much trouble with this. So I'll get started with the same process that I did earlier. I'm going to use a center punch and hopefully everything lines up okay. Okay, so I see the spots that I've marked. I'm going to do it one more time just to make sure I have the right spot. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to start drilling again. Yo, this pedal is so hard. This one's way different from this one. This one takes forever to drill through, and you got to go step by step, going up a drill bit every time, otherwise it gets caught like this. Stepping up to the 1 8 now. That is tough. Oh man, that's just the first hole. I gotta do three more. Hot damn. Oh man, I'm losing sunlight. It's getting dark. And it's a good thing I have this box here. Make sure you have some sort of padding or box down here, otherwise your knees will be dead. So I'm doing the third hole right now. I've just managed to finally drill through this part here. And so I'm currently working on it. So what I found helpful is moving from the 116th to the 564 
um, to the 764 than to the 1 8th. You gotta take it step by step, otherwise the drill bit gets caught and it's not pretty. All right, now moving on to the 1 8th. Oh, that's satisfying when that one finally goes through. Okay, test fit. Let's do it. Okay, that's a good sign. Everything lines up so far. Awesome. And this one's just sitting here. I'll take it off for now. So these two are almost done. So I've noticed you got to make sure you put the correct one. One is actually for the clutch pedal, one is for the brake pedal. Um, so I just follow this pattern here, where it goes off to the right, this one goes off to the right, and uh, presumably this one will go off to the left, and this would go off to the left. Oh man, I should have had this light on from the start. There you go. And I got the footwell lighting going on. So using the center punch. I'm just doing that to establish the bite point, make it easier for myself. But this one got really messy. Probably best to wear a mask, otherwise you're gonna breathe in some pretty bad stuff. Whoa! And goggles, that just exploded. All right, so this is the result. It ain't that pretty. All right, <laughs> did it. Second pedal done. Last one, guys. It's getting dark. I'm expecting this one to be the easiest because I don't know, it feels like it's made out of plastic, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, from what I'm seeing, this hardware is not long enough to go all the way through to behind the pedal. So I'm likely going to have to make the holes a little bit smaller just so these catch and uh, thread in when I install it. Okay, the markers have been set. And I see them. Yeah, these are just plastic, so not much work involved in this one. So for them to properly thread in, I'm using the 332 drill bit. The only thing left to do now is install the last pedal here. All right, <laughs> well, it's too dark. I'm out of time today, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I need to get a proper Allen key for these little screws because I currently don't have one here and I'm not able to install the gas pedal without it. So um, I'll probably resume this again tomorrow. All right, so I just got to my underground parking and you know what, I decided to finish this job tonight. I have this pedal left to do. I found the screwdriver I needed. So putting this down for a second. So this is a screwdriver I need. Focus. Um, it is an H 2.5 by 25 screwdriver and it has like a little hex um, or six-sided tip and that was enough to fit these little screws that I've been dealing with so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw the gas pedal in. After everything is installed, it should look like this. Not too much trouble. This one probably gave me the most issues, but I don't know, it was okay otherwise. And before I end the video, I do want to install one more thing here. It is the short throw clutch stop that I purchased a few weeks back. Trying to get a look behind the clutch pedal here. That little white rubber stopper is what I'm going to take out now. So this is the two stoppers side by side. And as you can see, the OEM one is much shorter. I probably won't be able to do this on camera because it's really hard to get under there. Installs all done. I got to test the car as well. I test drove it real quick to make sure the clutch engagement was okay. Everything turned out fine. So let me see if I can get under here. This is what it should look like once it's installed. It was really easy to install the pedals once you have the right tools. And the clutch stop was really easy. So that's it for today guys. 
Thanks for watching.